I made a video a few days ago talking about expanding my family and having a little bit of a life change. Some, some big changes were happening and you guys loved that video. And ever since then, I've been bombarded with DMs and comments and messages of all kinds asking what happened, what happened. So basically in that video, I would definitely recommend going to watch it because I feel like this is like part two of the series. But in that video, I minorly clickbaited, just a, just a tweeny bit. And I said I was expanding my family and becoming a mum to a dog to a dog, that counts. And I said that I had an appointment at Dogs Trust to meet a very, very special boy. And this is what I'm telling you about today. So um, in a nutshell, have I got a new dog? No. Ooh, I'm gonna tell you all about it today. But just before we do jump into the video, if you have not already, like and subscribe. I upload every single day here on my YouTube channel. I love bright, fun, colorful makeup, which is of course something that we're gonna be playing around with today. I love just having a yap, having a natter, having a chill, having a sit down with my friends here on YouTube. So let's do it. I'm gonna pop my clips in. I've been loving these. I bought these not long ago and they have helped me out so much. I feel like I don't have to mess around with my hair anymore when I'm filming. Oh, so much easier. Also, can we take a moment to appreciate my skin? It's been doing amazing recently and I'm so happy, touch wood, because every time I say that, it is just ruined the next day. So. You know what? I'm really happy with it. So let's talk. There, there was a lot of learning curves, I feel like the other day, and it was interesting. It was interesting. <laughs> so just a little bit of a recap, maybe if you did not see the first video, the first installment, the first episode of this series, um, I have decided I wanna get a dog. This is my boy Max. He has changed sides. Hope that hasn't confused anyone. But this was my boy Max. Um, he did pass away in June. And I've just decided that I, I want a dog. I want a dog again. Max was like the family dog, but I want my dog. And so I put in an application for Dogs Trust. They matched me with a dog. I was looking for a Staffy. Um, and they matched me with a Staffy Cross. Now I did say in the first video, comment down below what you think this Staffy is crossed with because I had never heard of a Staffy be crossed with this kind of dog. And you know what? Someone got it right. He was a Staffy Cross with a Husky. I know, like he was so beautiful. He was so, oh, looks, if it was based on looks alone, I'd have had him in a heartbeat. He was so pretty and I'm gonna say it now, if you're in the Shrewsbury area in the UK and you're looking for a really, really, really beautiful dog, Jasper is looking for a home please, like, oh, I feel really guilty about this, to be honest. I would definitely recommend watching this full video first because I'm gonna go into Jasper a little bit, so stay tuned because Jasper, he looks perfect, but for me, it would just not have worked. So I was so excited. I did say in the first video, I was not getting too ahead of myself because I did realize that there was a big chance that this wouldn't work out. Obviously dogs have their own very, very crazy personalities and you have to take that into account, not just, oh my God, they're so cute. It's really good when my skin behaves because I feel like I can actually use products that normally I can't use. So I just use my ABH foundation, which normally I don't like using because it's not very full coverage, but don't have to worry about that today. So on my phone consultation, so before you go and like actually meet a dog face to face, they basically give you a phone call, give you a bit of a rundown of the dog, what he's like personality wise, all that kind of stuff. And I was told that he was very excitable. Um, I don't think I realized how excitable he would be. Oh, oh my God. Um, so we met him, I like fell in love. It was love at first sight, you know, which is what makes this story a tragedy. I really loved him. He looked so different from the pictures that we were given, but in a good way, he is 
adorable. He has the face of a staffy with pointy ears, but his face is fluffy. And then his body is just this husky, really skinny mini. It, it's so weird. It's like someone's played Frankenstein on dogs. It is like, he's just gorgeous. He's so unique. He's stunning. So we took him for a walk and then we took him for like a play in one of the play pens. He was very, very hyper. But at first I was like, well, that's kind of understandable because he's been in a kennel all day. And the woman who took us out did say that he hasn't had his morning walk yet. So he's probably really excitable because of that. And I was like, you know what? That makes sense. It's fine. I threw balls. We went for a run. Like we, we did the most. And we spent probably about half an hour with him to start with. So then after that first half an hour, I was like, oh my God, he's so cute. He's amazing. Like I knew that I didn't want to have him right then, but I knew that like it was a good chance that I would be taking him home. We sat down with the behavioral therapist thing and he kind of talked us through like, yeah, he's very excitable. That word kept coming up. <laughs> and throughout this whole process, that's what I was thinking. I was like, well, obviously he's excitable because he's been stuck in a kennel for all day, you know? I'd be a bit hyper if I was stuck in a little kennel all day and I didn't have anyone to talk to. And you know, that makes sense. We were told that after the behavioral sit down that we could go back and we could go and spend more time with him. So we were like, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Something we did notice in the behavioral part is we have been told that he was a staffy husky on his paperwork it said staffy collie but then we were also told by another member of staff that he was a staffy like shiba inu or something and we were like what is he <laughs> but it was confirmed he was a staffy husky so that was something we were a bit like okay so we brought him out again we took him for a run which was quite a long run um, and then we took him in a pen and we were throwing toys for him. We were like doing the absolute most to try and chill him out, to try and wear him out a little bit. Um, I knew that, you know, he's probably cooped up. He probably doesn't have the chance to like have a proper run very much. He probably doesn't have the chance to have a proper play very much. So I wanted to give him the most. And I feel like I definitely did, okay? So we were playing around. And this man comes over and he says, oh, do you want to take him to the real life room? And we were like, what the hell is that? <laughs> and this is where it, it it takes a nosedive a little bit for poor Jasper. Um, oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> so the real life room was basically a mock apartment. It had like a little kitchenette area. It had a seating area. It had... Um, a little dog bed. It had like a living room. Like it was just like this big room that was made to look like an apartment, like a studio apartment thing. And we thought, oh my God, this is such a good idea because he's been outside. He's been really hyper. We haven't really seen what he's going to look like in a house. And when I say there was no difference, he was so hyper we were with him a total of three hours and I still have cuts down my leg from where he would he's just he's not aggressive in the slightest he is just very full-on all the time and considering as well that I had been out with him for a good like two hours maybe throwing balls and running and doing all this stuff and we go back into the real life room and he still is just like jumping up, like in my face all the time, jumping up, um, running around, pacing, like just energy to the max. And I think that's definitely the husky in him because a staffy does not do that. <laughs> staffy likes to chill out and just curl up in a ball a lot of the time. So it's something that we definitely weren't used to. And for me, that, like, I, I can't deal with that because the dog is going to be coming to the studio with me. The dog is going to be coming places with me. And if it's just running around screaming in my face, jumping up, like grabbing everything, he stole my keys at one point from my bag. Um, So he's a mischievous little boy. And for me, unfortunately, it's just not 
not something that I could look after and give the time to. And when I say I'm gutted, I'm so gutted. I'm actually really gutted. I kind of knew that the chances of the first dog that I see being the one was slim, but still like, it's always a shame, isn't it? I don't want him to be there for long. Like I do feel like guilty almost because I just, I want to save all of them. I want to take all of them home. I know obviously that is not realistic, but I just, I don't like the thought of him sat in there forever. So if you are in that area and you're looking for a very energetic dog, please go and check him out because he is gorgeous. He's beautiful. He is such a good boy, but he's a lot. <laughs> he's a lot. And I did also keep in mind that the last thing that I wanted to do was to accept him, to take him home, and then in a few days or a few weeks or a few months, bring him back. Like, I'd feel even worse doing that. I'd rather just say it's not the dog for me and try and find a better match and try and find him a better match as well. So unfortunately, I do not have a dog. Um, I've been with the office dogs and they have been helping me a lot. But for right now, I do not have a dog of my own. I have not been contacted again for a second match. I have also signed up for a few other dogs at other rescues. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But for right now, I don't have a dog. A lot of you guys were asking me about that and I thought I'd give you a little bit of a pup date. Here we go, it's not the one that I wanted to share with you, but I think it's definitely the right decision because I could not have handled that. So I'm still looking for my dog. There has been a bit of a life change um, in the last few days, which has kind of made me even more determined to get a dog. I'm sure I'll speak to you about that when everything's calmed down a little bit, but there's been something quite major happen and it's made me really sit back and think like, yeah, I want a dog now. I really do want a dog. Um, I don't know. It's something that I've just really wanted for a long time. I did want a dog. I said this back in my first reveal video, I guess, that even when Max was around, I wanted a dog, but we didn't want to get one because he was old. He was ill. He wasn't the best with other dogs in the first place. So it just wasn't right. But now, like, Max has gone and things have changed quite a lot. And I'm just like, yeah, a doggy would be my dream right now. Okay, so I'm going to use this, which is in my no pound left behind. And I am filming that video straight after this. So I'm sure it'll be live pretty soon, maybe tomorrow when you're seeing this. So I don't really know what I want to do. Hmm. I definitely want to play with like a contrasty kind of look. It's a very contrasty color story. Hmm. Let me, let me think. Let me have a gander. All right. So I'm going to start with this super dark shade. It's called Cave. And it's one of those like kind of satin matte things. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of these kind of shades, but we're going to, we're going to power through. And I'm going to pop this all the way in here. Something that I said in my first little update video or like announcement video, I guess, can you announce getting a dog? But I don't know, um, is I feel like I have such a great life right now. Even with the thing that happened a few days ago, I'll get into it later on. <laughs> but I have a really good life that I'm really, really happy with. But I just think a dog would make it so much more complete and... I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited to continue and to just, I don't know, to just do it. Get a new little family member that's like my baby. Max was never like my dog. And I think that's what I want. I want to be li a little mum. I do. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go in with Cliff, which is this bright red. And I'm going to start blending that out. I have like a really love-hate relationship with this palette. I never know if I like it. I never know if it's awful. Like the mattes are nice. It's just, I think it's the shimmers that just let it down a bit. And I really was in two minds when this rolled into my no pan left behind because I mean, yeah, I don't know if I like it or not. A lot of you guys have said that I should depot my single shades into here because I've said that I don't really want to let go of the palette because I love the Lion, like the Lion King. 
Stop It Right Now, one of my all time favorite films. So I don't wanna get rid of the palette, but I also don't wanna just put random singles in there because then I won't be able to use them as singles. Do you get my dilemma here? Okay, I feel like that blend is really nice. Not too dramatic. I mean, for a lot of people, this would be very dramatic, but for me, not that bad. Now I'm gonna go in with the blues. I'm a little bit nervous because these are shimmers, but when I say shimmers, this palette, it doesn't really do shimmers. It just does like not quite mattes, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go in with Be Prepared, which is this royal blue. And I am gonna use these on brushes, even though they are technically shimmers. And I'm gonna pop that on this kind of not quite inner part. Oh no, I've gone over. Oh. Yeah, it's not quite the inner part of the look, but it's kind of like this area. You can see this this general area. I think this palette would have been better as just an all matte palette because even this shade here, I'm putting it on my eyes. I can't see any shimmer in it at all. I'm struggling to even see like a satin in it. I mean, just make it an all matte palette, it's fine. It pretty much is anyway. But I think my dream dog, if I could describe my dream dog, I think I've learned I can't deal with anything super hyper, you know? It wasn't a waste of time. That's what my mum said. I was driving away, I was really, really sad, obviously. And my mum said to me, it's not a waste of time because now we know what we don't want. And yeah, that's 100% true. Um, I don't want something so hyper that I have to spend three hours with it and it's still crazy. Um, No, because yes, I, I can bring it to the office with me, but at the same time, it's still an office. I can't have a dog going nuts, you know? Uh, I'm gonna go in with Throne, which is this middle shade again on a brush and I'm gonna blend out that blue. I want something that has energy, but not like that. That has like manageable energy. I think that's a good word for it. I would like a cuddly dog because Max was not very cuddly. And I kind of learned that with Max, I wanted a cuddly dog. Max, if you went on the floor to cuddle him, he would growl at you and walk away. That was the kind of dog he was. So yeah, cuddly, not too energetic. Just a nice, calm dog. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw in a bit of a curveball. I'm gonna throw in this magnetic palette. This is my everyday makeup drawer palette. And I'm gonna go in with this green and put that on the inner part. I just think it'll look really cool. This shade is also not very pigmented, so I'm gonna have to spend about 10 years building this up as well but we'll get there. And when we do, it'll look great. Okay, that's cute. I did see a look on Instagram and I think I've subconsciously just recreated it. Let me find it because I wanna give credit where credit's due. Uh, it was, I, I can't say that name. I'm so sorry. I'll pop it on screen now. But yeah, I think I've just subconsciously recreated this look. That name, Claudia Qui Quieskina. I, I, I'm really sorry, I don't know. But Claudia, you've got it, you've got it right, girl. Yeah, this is cute. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna continue it on the lower lash, oh yeah, go on then. I'll treat myself. I like this look, this is cute. All right, so this is the mattes. I think that's really cute, actually. I really like this look. I was not expecting to love it so much, but here we go, Instagram look. I've been so bad with my Instagram lately. I'm very, very sorry. Life's been life in, you know? So I do have, I'm starting. I, sh I should say I'm starting. I don't have it yet. A new in makeup drawer, which is gonna be here. And it's gonna be like little things that I wanna play around with. So I do have these still. I have four shades, is it four? Yes. Four shades of the Pastel Roses seven wonders eyeshadows that I haven't used yet. That is stunning. That's so pretty. This is the shade Celestial Glow. I have no idea what I'm gonna put on the lid. That's gonna be really pretty as like a topper. It's got some pink and some green in it, which I think will go really well, but I don't think it's gonna work if I just throw it on right now. So I think I need a base for this. I might go in with my everyday makeup drawer palette 
I might go in with this shade. This is an Anastasia shade. It is called Enchanted. And I might just take a really small amount of that and pop it maybe on the outer corner here. I think I'm just gonna do like a gradient of shimmers. <laughs> Pretty. And then, I don't know what I wanna do. I might use this shade, which is Daydream from the Pastel Roses. You can get 20% off, code Caitlin 20 not affiliated. Same with these bad boys as well. This is like a blue to yellowy shade. I think that'll work really well. Okay, let's try this. Oh yeah, I think that yellow blends in with that green so well as well. Yep, good choice. I'm gonna bring it up into the mattes and then blend it into that purple just with a clean finger. Ooh, I don't actually know if I'll put that topper on now because that looks cute. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna leave that how it is. And then I've got the perfect shade to go on the inner corner as well. This is the shade Vision from the Pastel Roses and it looks white, but it actually has a green little reflect to it. And that is gonna go so well with that green on the inner corner. Oh yeah, look at that. That's perfect. Okay, so I think I'm gonna run off camera now, not only because I'm gonna do brows and lashes, which are so boring, but also because my friend's coming around to fix my makeup drawers. So, and he'll be here in like 10 minutes. So I think this is a great place to stop. So that's what I'm gonna do. I love this look. Oh, I love it. Okay, don't go anywhere because Makeup looks always look so much better with lashes on. We'll do the lips together. I'm so excited. Oh, this looks so cool. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, I'm back with makeup drawers that actually work now. Who'd have thought? I finally put all my makeup in my drawers because before the bottom of them were like falling out and it was just such a pain. Um, So one of my friends came and gave me a hand. So for lips, I'm gonna use ColourPop BFF two yeah this looks red but it's not it's like a brownie kind of warm shade i think this will match really well with like the outer part of this look and then to pull in some more pinks i'm going to use anastasia vintage this is like on its last legs now you know i'm proper having to scrape in here to get any product out but this is the look. I actually really, really like this. This is so fun. I am obsessed. I think it's so pretty and you will be seeing this on Instagram. Thank you again for the inspiration. Ka Ka I can't remember who it was. I'm so sorry, but I did show it earlier on in the video. So long story short, I do not have a new puppy or a new dog, unfortunately. And my hunt continues for the perfect pup to complete my little life. I think it'd be so cute to have another little puppy running around. I say another, like I already have one. I don't, <laughs> but I'm just really excited for the next one. And I'm sure I'll keep you updated with how it goes. But thank you for all your support, all your love on the first video. It honestly meant the world to me and I'm gonna keep going, keep trying to find a dog that suits me a little bit more. I am gutted and I do feel really guilty about leaving little Jasper, but I've got to find a dog that suits me because as I said the last thing I want is to give it back I would cry honestly I'd cry so yeah unfortunately no luck yet I'll keep you posted but with that being said this is the end of this video guys this is where I'm gonna love you and leave you looking at this oh my gosh yes I hope you did enjoy this video if you made it to the end comment a little doggy emoji down below because it would cheer me up so much and your comments do help me in the algorithm so much and with that being said I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video bye bye